tell you a story. Years ago, there was a street. On the street, there was an old mansion. And inside that house, that had something evil. Some of us as kids were so curious of that house. If something might be in there, but we can't go in. We saw an old man always come on every night to his home. 1 a.m., 4 a.m., for what looked like a white bag but covered in red liquid, or rather packs of meat and blood. A light would turn on from top of the window. If you were standing close enough to the house, it sounded like a water drain being on. And every 30 seconds later, it screamed. <laughs> Me and the other kids were thinking and making up some theories if there is a monster living in that mansion with that old man feeding it or it could be for what Patrick Ferguson said if it could be a mutant bastard son of his. Kid stuff, you know. <laughs> Not about when I was 21, from more years later. The old man passed away. It was shown in the news. He's sitting on his old street for what looked like he's been attacked. On his left hand, that was the bag of blood. On his right hand, it was a cross. I was walking home at night out of forest for a bit. And I saw that same old mansion that looked like for anyone would see in their nightmares. But I saw that door was still open. I was thinking that would be a terrible mistake. I opened the door and went inside. Everything around the house was so old, like in the 40s at least. Some of these posters hanging on the wall were so odd. There was a lot of dirty paper scattered around the other room. I was trying to make myself quiet if something might still be here. I went up to the stairs, but for the halls, they were like it's taking a long time for a walk to get to the other side. And once I was walking around the hallways, I saw it. For what was on the floor, blood on the ground, that leads to the other room. I was thinking if this could be it, or something. Once I go in on the floor for what looks like packs of blood and animal meat on the ground. It was horrified for what I am seeing. And then I heard that familiar scream. It comes from downstairs for what from that living room. I decided to check it out for caution. Once I was there. The door was very boarded with lots of wood, but there was an axe on the ground. So I carried the axe and swung all the wood to break it down. And once I did, I went down and then I saw it. The door that was locked and I could easily hear was a growling. So I had no choice to go inside. I don't know for what I am witnessed that night. All I do remember was screaming, a wild sense of fear, and then waking up with no memory and a pretty bad bite mark on my left arm. I was outside of the old mansion, and that's what I saw at those four big windows. For what it was, four stand-up army stands that has those skull heads covered in blood. It looks like they are staring at me. The fight still continues for this very day. Yeah.